hey guys welcome back to another video our next build to add to our farmland is this lovely medieval watermill farmhouse so let's jump right in before we begin I want to first thank all these wonderful people from patreon and youtube membership for keeping the channel going thank you so much for your support Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna start with is yes the layout the foundation the very important part of it now we want to make sure that we have as close as possible to the little waterway that we have right here uh, you can do your terraforming in whichever way if you want to widen this uh, it is up to you depending on which landscape you're working with so now the layout that we're going to work with is one two so this side is going to be about seven so we have three four five six seven and we're going across and i just want you to make sure that the stone is overlapping this this one here as you can see so one two three four now we're going to stop right here and we're going to put a stone right about here and another here it's going to be three and one to the back now it's going to be like a three by three layouts right here and you just stuff that one in and we are basically done with that part right so the next thing we add is one more uh stone wall right here and then we're gonna go all the way back which is the same seven we just uh, make sure that everything balanced out with the other side and the back should be a total of eight so one two three four five six seven eight great so we have the layout all set for the little shed that we have here on the side we will get to that once we get all the walls up. so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to mark where our staircase is going to be to enter our our watermill house and we're just going to put it right here so actually it should come over a little bit right here so we should have like a one meter stone block space right here then we just put our stone stairs right about here so you should have this amount of space here so two meter uh two three meter space right here so and, and the next thing we can do is that we're going to raise all these walls six stone walls high to add as well when i'm doing the staggered uh, stone wall method uh just like what you see here i can start from right here which is pretty easy where it starts to do that little uh pattern and for the edges here we can just put a small stone then we switch on over to a two meter stone we just want to make sure that the creases is alternating so you have one here then you have one here and then we basically have one up here just like that and you have your staggered walls so we're just doing this until we have uh, six stone walls in height great now that we have that done so the next bit of detail we're going to add right here is this stone floor because we're going to rest our column on top of it so i want you to get a two meter stone wall here place it right here it should have a one meter space about here and then you're going to place one beside it like this then you're going to get your stone floor and have it tucked in in this uh, way here uh, so you're going to do this for this side here this section here right here as well and the the back side right here and over here then you should have all that set okay so now that you have all these little stone details in now we just want to mark the back section here where your chimney is going to be so just place a two meter stone wall right here and one two and then you're going to place one right here next we're going to make our doorway so we're just going to break these two stone walls we're going to break this one we break this one Fill this in with a one meter stone break this so we can fit in our darkwood door right here so let's get our darkwood door and we just well, we need to make one more space just break this break this and we're good and we can slide in our darkwood door we guys put it right here and the other right here and we can do is we can add a little bit of detail here just creating a, a door frame for it uh nothing fancy we could rotate this yeah like that we we'll just bring this down we we'll just do this on the other side and maybe a little bit more detail up the top we may not see all of this uh detail but it doesn't hurt to do a little thing here and there make a little difference and we just kind of put another row right up here and uh, we have that done now for the 
above the doorway we're gonna put our little hangover section and it's basically going to start about right here so we need a one meter wood we can snap right here get our staircase and we can just snap that right there and we can just bring these uh over actually we can bring this to about here here should be fine and uh, we may have a little bit of overlapping with the staircase that is good we can work with that and we can just extend it a little bit more there's one more row of these staircases and we just have it looking like this and then we can get our one meter wood and we're going to do is just going to put a it should have a snapping point right here which is fine we're going to get our 26 degree and we're just going to put a little bit of detail to the side right here and we're going to get a our core wood and we just snap in this little gap right there to the ground there's a little gap right here i should mention i can just fill this out so with uh, stone walls it's just because of how we basically designed this layout here and yeah let's just fill it out guys so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to raise the, the walls four more stone walls high so currently start at the edge right here so all these walls should be up four more and we're going to mark where our window is going to be and also show where our roof is going to be as well. We have all the walls up to the extra four stone walls like this. So it should be all in this same height here. So we just need to just take this out and mark our little fireplace area some more. Let's break this one out. Break this. And we could, could go a bit higher. Yeah. So maybe around that height is good some holes right here for our window so we just break right here put this back in break right here second break this one back in so it should be like that then for over here just break that one take this one out and this one out and then fill that back in for right here just take this one out take that out and take this out so you should have three windows right here we can just frame them out right now we just add the two meter wood right here you can just rotate it so that the edge is kind of poking towards you and we can just switch on over to the one meter wood and clean up the top section right here we can switch over to a one meter beam and finish it off like that now for our roof section because we're going to have a triangle shape right here on this side and also the opposite side so right here we just need to mark our roof will start right here so we just put a one meter wood and one like that with another right here and another in this direction so and we just do the same thing on this side the next thing that we need to do so that we can get the triangle shape for the stone wall so first we need to add some bit of a support so that it can handle the weight at the top okay so to add this support we're going to start right here so that right in between these creases so the first two meter stone wall right here and we're just going to bring this all the way up uh, like this uh, for the other part we would add it it's about right here and bring this all the way up as well okay, so basically we're pretty the same thing over on the side this one was able to tuck into the corner if i follow the same line over here now once we have all of that done we can start stacking our stone uh we're going to have actually bring this iron beam going across like this so that we can get a proper support in the middle so switch on over to a two meter stone and we're going to put it starting from right here and we're just going to carry this across switch on over to our one meter stone so we're going to have a two meter stone gap right here and we're going to put a one meter stone out here okay, there's good about right here and uh, yeah and then we switch on over to a two meter stone and then we can go across like this put a one meter stone here now it's going to change where it's now one meter for each space so one meter then we put our stone right there then we put one meter right here we do the same right here and right here then finish it all up with a two meter one meter stone uh stack like this now if it's showing red we can just put one more or one more iron beam okay so the next thing we do is that we're going to shape out our roof so just grab your 45 degree and just connect it to these uh these little shooting parts here and we're just going straight up to the top now it should meet in the in the middle 
uh, like that to form a perfect triangle shape. Okay, so once we have that in, so we're going to try to cover up uh, underneath here. Because once we put the roof piece in, we're going to see right into a roof between these stone uh, pieces here. So we just get a 45 degree and we're going to attach it right here. We're starting from right here. But we're going to add a bit more detail to cover up uh, these small holes that we will have a problem with. So we're just going to carry this all the way up and we just do the same thing here. Just carry this all the way up and for this middle part here you see there's like a half snapping points here somewhere right in this part and we just can make this nice little triangle shape here now for for right here now is where we would try to manually place uh, the the next row and just make sure that it's lined up with this one but slightly uh down a bit like that and you just bring this all the way all the way up like that now for right here you would have to hold down on shift key and just basically try to line it up so that you can just place that in you can just do the same thing on the other side make sure it's lined up with this little piece here covering up that hole draw this closer good and we just can bring this straight up and then we are good to go from there awesome so your roof should look like this pretty basic now we're gonna move on to the next part okay so the next thing that we're gonna add we're just gonna make sure that our roof line is in place because we need to rest our roof piece on top of it also just wanted you to, to make note as well that you also need to make some proper support for this uh, roof line where you're gonna rest the roof piece on so for every like uh this is good for every like uh, two and a half you can just put a, a wooden beam right here just to support this roof line and we just kind of add these roof pieces in like this uh we will carry this up further I remember to do the back end right here. Let's give it some support. I'm just going to do like a two, is it two, four. Yeah, let's, we'll work with that. Let's see, and that got an extra two and a half space. That, that's fine. We work with it. Now that we have our roof in place, now we just need to raise this tower three more stone walls high. I've started doing that, so we're just going to finish it off by doing this here. So in total, the wall should be about 13 stone walls high. That the tower is done, we can just focus on the roof and we just go place so one meter wood like that and another piece of wood over here same thing we get our 45 degree connect them underneath here we just switch on over to our 45 degree wooden wall and we're just going to basically start from right here and right here and then we're going to get a half wall in the middle uh, like that now we just need to get a snapping point for our next set of uh 45 degree walls to to fit in nicely like that so we get to snap these in uh getting like a half way snapping point there for it we can just take that little one meter wood out then we switch on over to a five to five degree beam and we're just going to add a bit more detail we could just we add a little bit uh, right here just slightly going up like that and we can just uh, slightly snap it in and just using uh the shift key to manual place uh, these in just manual place that in and uh, also can do that then we just add a bit more detail here just create like a little line and we're good to go we can just add our 45 degree root piece let us put our little overhang right here so that it can meet the other roof then switch on over to a 45 degree now for the corners right here where the roof is going to meet we can start off by using this uh, shingle roof eye corner 45 degree and what we just do is place one of these right up here so that we can place uh, this right underneath it like that and we can easily follow that same line going up to the top meeting to this point now if it is showing red or it may break is that you need to add some support we're going to use the one meter wooden beam right here to meet the little overhang we created so that is good for us right now and we can just finish up the other side the next part we're going to focus on on this little tower here so just want you to count from right here one two three and just going to place this wooden wall right here and another right underneath it so we're going to focus on creating our little uh section here that was protruding out at the front of the bill right here we just put another set of walls i like to use the back of the walls for detail because of it having these little beams going across it i like a little variation to it now when we have these in we can switch on over to our one meter beam and we're just going to connect set piece right here and another right here and we're going to switch on over to our 26 degree like this 
now i want the, tw the 26 degree to be like like right at the edge here and not set like this so we're gonna switch to our core wood and we're gonna rotate it and snap it like this because when the core wood is snapped like onto like a one meter uh whether it's a wood or stone uh you can use that as a point of finding the middle snapping point for that uh, one meter basically the halfway point for it so once we have that all set we switch on over to the 26 degree and see how easily it snaps in like that we just take that out and that is done and we can just do that on the other side add our hovang beam right here and another right here switch on over to our 26 degree root piece and just slide these in just aim at the back so that it snaps in like that and then we can focus here on our little window section so we're just going to get a half wall and we're just going to connect it right here at the front i'm going to switch it around to show the back and we just get our one meter about well, two meter a one meter beam we're going to snap right here we're just creating different snapping points for this little section and we just get our two meter beam rotated to kind of show this the edge and we just add a one meter on top what we do we also fine tune it by adding a little window ledge right here we just add a few of these and we can just wrap it around like that and we're going to move on over to our side right here where we're going to add some more detail as well for our little overhang and we're going to switch on over to our 45 degree now there is a snapping point right here where this 45 degree b meets so we want to aim right there as you can see it snaps onto it so not focusing on this one but that one and then we just come on over here and do the same thing We'll snap that in we switch on over to the 26 degree beam and uh, snap these in right here now we also want to find a halfway point for this so we just aim at the beam right here snap this in and we also snap this two meter beam about right here add one more row of these uh, two meter poles right here and right here and then we switch on over to our two meter beams and we just basically just connect it into the wall just meet the two sides with the two meter beams just going across just to finish up the framework of this little overhang section here we just switch on over to our 26 degree group piece and we just fill this area in switch on over to 45 degree and also fill this in as well on our flooring right here we just get our flooring and fill this area out we just need to add our two meter wall to the side right here just make sure that they overlap like that and we can just fill up this area as well with a 45 degree so the next bit of detail that we're going to add we're going to use our dark wood arch and we're just going to snap a piece right here and we're going to snap the other on top of it right here we just get a dark wood pole right here we can just add these going across then we switch on back to the arch so basically it should look like this now for these little areas we just can add these uh, dark wood uh, poles and it should be all finished so the next bit of detail we're going to add to the side of the roof here so that doesn't look flat because we don't have a little overhang here and we're going to switch on over to first our 26 degree and we're going to place it a little bit lower about right here and then we switch on to a 45 degree and place it like that so you should have something looking like this for both sides now we're going to move on to adding our glass uh, windows and you can basically repeat the same thing for all of the windows so you're just going to get uh, a two by two cage right here we're just going to snap this in but it also depends on the size of the window so you may have to use like a one by one cage as well we just snap these in they should be able to hold because they are t basically touching the the wood piece and we're not really going all the way up with them so we just add these in and then what we're going to do is that we're going to add the glass on the back of it so we don't want the glass to snap in automatically like what you see right here we're going to hold down on shift key and it's just going to place it somewhere right here behind the the, the iron cage and we just snap these in like that we just aim at the cage right here and snap these on top of each other just want to make sure that the glass is not uh, poking out on the other side that's good and we just basically go all the way up with these glass now that we have that all done we can see the detail of the glass and the cage in front of it i like the look of it from a distance you can see how the overall look now we're just going to add some details underneath here we're just going to get our dark wood arch we're just going to add our first dark wood arch here we just put it on the, the sides and then for like the middle we can put two more like that then we should have be set from there now we're going to focus on our water mill 
right here so first we're gonna start off with using a two meter uh pole and then we do a one meter pole top we can do the same thing here well we're gonna do a one meter pole here but let's try to see if we can snap it the two meter pole fine all right so it's okay so we can snap that in and we just switch on over to one meter pole like that now in case that you're unable to snap it in you may have to use the shorter piece first then the longer piece afterwards but whichever works for you now at the base here we're going to start off with using the one meter pole for one side and one more on the other side so basically the total is a two meter but we just want to make sure to have a, a central snapping point then we switch on over to our 45 degree steers and rotate it and we should position it like so and then we do it the other side and that is good then we switch on over to a two meter wooden pole and we just connect them to the edge of the steer case then we switch back over to the 45 degree steers now we're just going to place it in the opposite direction based on what we have on the bottom there and then we do it on the same side on the other side and we just finish it up with a two meter beam going across right in the center there so we can add some detail we're going to use our 45 degree uh, beam and we just put it to the side right here we put it to the bottom a little detail in the middle we just put our two meter beam across and then one meter to be the edge there we switch back to our 45 degree and we're just gonna snap it right there in the middle so we have a little angle piece and we're just gonna snap it right at the bottom here should have something like that and we just switch on over to the other side so now that we have the basic structure of the wheel set we just need to add more detail just to make it to look a little bit more better than how it looks right now it looks pretty flat so we're just going to use our 45 degree again and what we're going to do is that we're going to work with the same line of with the what was currently there so we just want to line it up with other piece but kind of push it back a bit just to have a bit of depth going on right there then we're going to switch on over to using a one a two meter and then we just uh, snap piece over here we just line that up so about that and then we switch on over to a one meter and try to have it speed like this so you should have something looking like this and then we just do the same thing at the bottom here so we, we basically just go into the, the farthest points when it slip off and just spring it back and that should be good so the final detail we're going to add right here in the center we just place a item stand and then we just attach a shield we could use a bronze shield or an iron buckler whichever and there it is the next thing that you can add and just a little section right here because it has a big opening and you just want to make it look like these little uh propeller thingies are you know down this section so we would use our core wood and create some snapping points so snap that in and then we switch on over to the one meter stairs snap that in and switch back to snapping the core wood right here then we snap another going right here take this out and we're good to go from there now we could add a little bit more it is optional to you but two looks fine and kind of works with what we have going on there okay so now that we have our water mill all done so we're going to move on to add a bit more detail to this structure to make it pop some more and what better way to make your medieval bill pop by adding these uh, wonderful wooden columns now you can do the more simpler way of just using the two meter wood to stack it all all the way st straight up well from base going up but i like to alternate a bit with the one meter and the two meter starting at the base so when stacking it further going up top it's all two meter so let me show you what i mean so for the corner right here i'm gonna work with what we have and start about here I'm um, just manually placing this piece in. Then we switch on over to our one meter. I'm holding down on shift key, draw it close to the side. I rotate it about two times. So one, two. And then we just snap that on the side. Then switch over to the two meter and we just do the same thing. Back to the one meter, rotate it, slide that in. And uh, we can leave that little corner there. It's not needed. We can fill this area in. I don't think we can squeeze anymore. Let's see if we can do that. If so, then that's good. And then we just use two meter wood going all the way up. Great. So we have the column all set here and we can just add some detail here to the base. So for using one meter, I'm just going to hold that on shift key, slowly slide it in just to, just to the point where it starts to do that. We just slide it back a bit and make sure the sides are lined up with each other. And we just wrap it around the column like this. 
and there you go nice little detail here and then we're gonna do the same up top so we're not able to push this in we're gonna do it on the front here uh let's see we have a, a one meter pole that we can aim at so we can slide this in just a little bit like that and then we just wrap it around like that now we're gonna add a next a little bit of detail now you don't necessarily have to do this but uh, it's a new thing that i've done and uh, what i'm going to do is just use these item stands as a little bit of detail to the column so starting with this two meter pole i'm going to place it on top right in that crease there where the other two meter pole meets and just wrap it around the column like this okay we have it like that then i just go up a bit i'm just going to put another one i'm going to use this little little crease right here for the third one and we just make sure it line up with it like that or we could maybe put it in the middle so it's around that that's good and then we just wrap it around as well then our last one we just place it right here just a little bit below the one meter so the next bit of detail that we're going to add we're going to switch on over to a, a wooden wall right here and we're just going to place it right around the, the bell so we just snap one here Let's see if we can squeeze one inside well, let me see if we can squeeze it in like this and then we get one snapping right here now these top section here where you see it that you can see underneath the roof you can snap these right here so, and we put some right here so basically just wrap the bill with these you know wood trim so we just need to mark out where our floor is at so the first floor is going to be at the same level as these uh, windows and so it's around here we're going to fill this out and our attic will be up here starting from the top of the window right here and we're just gonna fill this whole area so i'm going to show you where i connect the staircase as as you enter to your right just place a one meter floor get your ladder and just attach it and then you attach another one to the side and then you will have some one meter floor right here and then you attach another stair going up and this is where i'll i've made the opening to access the first floor we also carried a floor going across so that we have this little area here that we have added to the structure and so once you have all the floor all set now just to put the stair to access our attic section we just snap a staircase right here and put a one meter floor and another sta staircase right here so the next thing we need to do is to open up our roof and add a bit more detail because it looks a bit plain so we're gonna open up these two sections right here and uh, let's see we can open up right here as well same line and we're gonna take these two out as well and then we're going to switch on over to our 26 degree and we're going to attach it right to the side here we're just going to mark where our roof piece is going to be let's call you about there that's good and we're just going to attach our two meter wood right about here and we can just place one right here and we just attach it from there get all one meter wood to poke out like this and then we get our 26 degree roof to finish it off so we just do it side side and here and we are done the next thing that we're going to do i'm i'm thinking of maybe using like the the uh the arch dark wood arch uh don't you don't necessarily have to use the same design but you can design in whichever way or form uh you like so i'm we just want a nice little arch uh opening here and uh, maybe add some two meter wood right here uh maybe use the dark wood dividers i could use that or we could use the well, like when it's overlapping like that let's see if we can or we could use a cage we could use a cage and maybe put some glass on the back of it just to pretty it up a bit uh just like what we have right here and uh, for these little sides here there's an easy way of getting that done we can switch on over to the 26 degree wall and we just attach it from the top then we get our 45 degree wall and upside down specifically and we're just going to make sure that it snaps right here so we just aim at the wood and it just snaps in like that and you should have it looking like this to fill in the, the space there and for this area i think it's it's good it's good we, it's okay we can live with it so, and we can just do the same thing on the other side another thing that you can do as well now this little section here now it's pretty different from the preview video that i have i wasn't uh, making use of this space up here but just wanted to show you that you can make use of it by maybe like having a little small attic area where you can maybe store your gold or treasure whichever 
that you want to use it for we could put a little staircase right here to to access this little area we just draw this a little bit closer uh, something like this and we could use it for something now we could just move on over to this side and we're just gonna make like a doorway so i'm thinking about right here we just take these out and we just break about right here and so we gotta have an idea as to where our balcony is gonna be let's get our wooden floor and we maybe to start about here just come across and meet to the side here we're gonna work on that chimney afterwards so maybe about uh yes two of these outs and maybe we can just frame it out using the shutters and we don't want our balcony we appear to be floating in the air so we're gonna get our 26 degree attach it to the end right here let's rotate it and have it lined up uh, like that and then our 45 degree uh, there we can just clean this up by adding a two meter wood beam right here and we just add a wood right here because we're going to add a little bit detail to the side although we won't see it so clearly on this side but we can do it on the other side as well so we just add these right here and you have something looking like that now we're going to do our fireplace right here and we're going to start off with setting down our heart we're just going to rotate this around and we just kind of stuff it in like this i just want to make sure that it is fine this should be fine it is able to light we just need to switch on over to our two meter stone and kind of encase it like this and then we just basically bring it up in the staggered wall to be one two three and then we'll just add one more right here makes it four and then we're going to trim the size of it the width of it so we're just going to get like a staircase right here so about this and we're just going to bend that in and then we're going to switch it on over to two meter stone and we just kind of go with this width right now we're just going to tuck that in on the other side just make sure that it has a staggered look and we bring this all the way up another thing that we can add to the, the fireplace we're just gonna add a little bit of detail using the four by four about well, the four by two meter wall and then we just add a little bit more detail around here to the side it should be able to work we tuck it in a little bit because the wall is so thick it's not going to show that much on the other side or any point at all and then we just bring this all the way up to about uh, the amount where the maximum height we can go with the stone walls being stacked is about 14 so you should be able to achieve that and just to make sure that our smoke doesn't get trapped by our roof piece we just take these out and we are just basically bringing the wall up you can add these roof piece back by just aiming at the wall so that you don't have that opening right there all clean and nice and then we just can continue afterwards okay so our final piece that we need to add to our structure is over to the left side of the bill we have this little plain wall here so right down at the base let me just get the 45 degree wall ready and you're just going to count nine walls up so one two three four five six seven eight nine so where you have nine so you would snap this piece about right here if in the case that you don't have this little crease where you can snap it in you can just use a one meter wood to mark it to have it snapped in so you basically have like a two meter stone wall space then you snap that piece we just come over here we just do the same thing get our 45 degree wall and we just snap it in that crease right there switch on over to our 26 degree angle wall and we just add in two of them like this for this area here now you see that i have already a core wood snapped in what i did was uh, switch on over to the one meter wood beam snap it right about there switch on over to our forward and snap it about there and we just get a small forward to snap in that groove just manually place that one in and we're basically gonna have a nice little overhang just a short one to the front to the side we will add a little bit of detail here by switching on over to our 26 degree beam we'll just add two of that to the side then we switch on over to our 45 degree beam and have it snapped like this basically we're just repeating the same design that we did on the other side so down at the base here we're going to switch on over to our two meter wall and we're just going to snap it in like this then we're going to switch on over to our half wall and we just do the top right here just bring this piece all the way over we could use 
use a two meter wall right here and have that snapped in uh in this little opening area we can use core wood we'll kind of design it uh, switch it up a bit and we just snap these in we can maybe make it staggered so so we just do this switch on over to four meter and switch on over to two meter and you know we could leave it like this but if we want to add a little bit more detail we can just fill in these little creases here or we could leave them uh, whichever you prefer but we can add a x right here we just use a 45 degree x and it would be like something about right here uh, let me just slide this down a bit and we're just gonna add another the snap in automatically switch on over to our two meter wood and just snap these like that and basically we're just going to repeat the same design with the other side and also with the front if possible final part we just need to work out is right here where we're going to put our window so just gonna one meter stone just ensure that we fill in any spots that need to be filled in uh we can get or 45 degree and we just aim it right up top and just do another over here just basically making like a diamond shape just connect to the bottom like that we can get our one meter stone just fill in the the, the gap area here add some detail within the middle to hide that wall there so we could and we place this in just a little bit closer like that and we just do the same on the other side just draw this closer about that and for the bottom right here we just do the same thing we just draw it closer and for over here we just do the same well we just get our one meter wood beam we just attach it to the side just for a little bit of detail right here we just connect into the back piece uh for a 45 degree and we have something looking like this we can use our dark wood divider or whichever that you prefer and just put it in the middle right here so that is it for the structural build guys now we just move on to the interior and here's a little preview of what i've done